Darren here with a couple of options for protecting your DJI Phantom 4's propellers, props, spinners, whatever you like to call them. So I'm going to be doing some more work that involves people being around the general area where I'm flying. Weddings. So as much as I have a lot of best practices and safety precautions, I really would like to have as many safety precautions as possible. Hence, I've purchased a couple different sets of propeller guards for just-in-case situations. So I saw the DJI versions and I saw some mixed reviews. So I saw two other options that were half the cost, so figured why not try them out. So here's my thoughts. At first glance, they look pretty similar. The main difference you can see visually is the Y up there versus the straight uh, middle runner there. The way they connect is a little bit different, although just to give you a look at how they connect to the actual Phantom. When you first get the Phantom 4, there's a piece of plastic that's clear inserted at the end of each propeller arm. And that just pops right out. And there's a little slot here, which is perfect for mounting propeller guards. I imagine that's why they put it there. So the way they connect is there's just these little tabs that recess in a little bit, and they're supposed to just slide in. Now, this brand, the Hobby Ace, as it's sold under, has a little bit of a tab that clicks into place, but the annoying thing is there's a lip, and it's quite finicky to try and get it in, but you get a little bit used to it. And then the little tab that's supposed to hold it in looks like it reasonably clicks into place. Nothing really super secure, but it looks like it's grabbing onto there. So that's nice. Now, the Tozo brand, there is no clip but it does have a nice overall tapered thickness to it that when you press it in, it feels pretty nice and secure. And keeping in mind that really, the only way this is gonna wanna actually come out is if it took a hit like directly from the bottom. And I'm hitting it right near that point and it's not moving much at all. It moved maybe a millimeter. No, it didn't move at all actually. So I'm really not concerned about that coming out. It feels very acceptable to me. Now, the overall rigidity of them, which let's detach these guys again, can demonstrate how long it takes me to unclip this guy. It's a little weird because there's not really a way to grab it and be able to pull up without putting pressure on places you don't want to really put pressure on, but pushing the clip out, that guy's off. And this one, I'm still learning how to get a leverage on them. So the thickness, it's a little bit thicker on the Tozo brand. I weighed them. This one's about 19 to 20 grams on the Hobby Ace, and the Tozo's about 21 to 22 grams. So not a really big appreciable difference on the weight. The rigidity, I would say about the same. It's really not that much of a difference. The one difference I can see is in overall beefiness or the thickness of the frame, which I would say is a negative for the Tozo because it could add some extra wind resistance. How much? I really have no way of scientifically testing these side by side with wind conditions being exactly the same to see how much it would affect it. But I would say probably fairly minimal, but again, no way I could really verify that. The main reason why I'm gonna be going and using the Tozo brand over the Hobby Ace or whatever else they might be branded under, I know there's a lot of rebrands going on out there, is that if you look here, you'll notice I'm keeping it right up against the prop guard it is touching the guard. That's how much distance, less than my finger width. Whereas this guy, you'll see, I've got enough space. Now, granted, the most likely bump you're gonna get is a head-on, close to it. And with that, that kind of bump, it doesn't make any connection. That little bit of space is enough, there's really not much flex going on. But, you'll notice there's also this taper on the bottom. You'll see that taper. So if anything gets hit from the bottom, that's a pretty short amount of flex for a contact to happen with the propeller. Whereas with the Tozo, there's more than double the amount of space to work with, probably about three times the distance, so that you can get a pretty decent bump and it's not gonna make any contact. So that is really what it comes down to is the maximum amount of protection. Now, granted, these are strictly a last resort, extra bit of precaution. There's no intention to get this anywhere near somebody that the props would need to be actually, you know, be effective in protecting somebody. But there's a you never know factor. You gotta expect the unexpected. So having this little extra bit of precaution is a good thing. And of course, people are concerned about 
these added, um, changing the flight characteristics of your craft. And of course, there is that little bit of a downside, but depending on your use, it might be a much better idea to have this extra bit of safety. So that's about it. Uh, that's all I can say about these. They're pretty simple pieces of plastic, but in the end, one is going to be used. I'm Darren, and this, is, uh, this has been a little bit of a review.